You could just tell by the the can it was a bad idea. Folks, I'm going to tell you now. Angela's in a bad mood because she's trying something different other than her white claw and she doesn't like it. And I knew she wasn't going to like it, but she swore up and down she was going to like it. I'm like, no, you're not. I think not. I might have already been buzzed when I had it before. So <clears throat> everything's good when you're already buzzed. Yeah. No. Just the name alone tells you that you're not going to like it. Unless Why you're, do I always forget how to, like... Unless you're in transition. What are you forgetting? Like, how to, how do you upload a picture? When you go to check in. How do you check in? All right, we're not doing this right now, but I'll show you. <laughs> Jesus. Nobody... Oh, we're starting. We are starting. <laughs> Get ready for the disappointment, folks. Here it is. Yeah, show everybody what you decided to buy instead of white cloth so they can laugh at you. Well, put the beer camera up. Oh, beer camera. Hold on. I'm slow. Says happy dad, but sure is making mommy sad. That's for sure. This is some kind of new seltzer that's pretty... I don't know if it's popular, but it's everywhere out here. Even though the, the can looks like it was bought at a flea market. You know, it's not as bubbly. It's not. It's not as it carbonated. Ta it, this tastes like... Water and just flavor. LaCroix. LaCroix? The Crocs, LaCroix, LaCroix, yeah. Like, I like White Claw because it's like my Waterloo or it's like the my other seltzer waters that it's I like. It's highly carbonated. Very bubbly. This is just flat, like LaCroix. What's up, Dick, a.k.a. Richard? What's up, everyone? Angela, get that soda stream. Don't tell me. Tell this jack It's all trades over here. It's sitting there waiting. We'll order it. But all you're going to do is complain about it. What are you doing, Bubba? Yeah, what why is he over here? Get him out. What are you out. doing? Jean head? Paul. I heard that Jean Paul is here. Jean I heard Paul. Jason hates me. Who's Jason? Who's Jason? Well, he's right there. A mm. mm. uh, quick shout out to. Oh, I can't. I can't. I don't know. How do you. What's, what's up, Bob? <sighs> Today's what's a sad day, anybody? folks. Uh, hobo shoestring has been found, and uh, people are like, who the fuck is Hobo shoestring? He's one of the many, many, many dudes I would watch that used to uh, ride on the trains. And he was found, I believe, in a lake. But I don't think by choice. I think this one might have been on him. Because <laughs> he wasn't riding a train, but I don't know. Details coming out tomorrow, apparently. So... That's sad news. Let's start it off with something sad. Like, asshole Ed. Thank you, sir, you son of a bitch. Asshole Ed gave you three dollars. La 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 da 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 Good evening, you sob. Good evening. Watch your smell of ass and balls, you nappy motherfucker, you. Thank you, Chris. Chris Maddie gave you five dollars. Mark, buy me a beer. I'm a poor peasant and a leper whose print staff and jewel bag is itchy. Whoa, the jewel bag's itchy. Start using rubbers. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. So, uh, I sent out DC's package today, and I have Ed's package packed and, like, ready to ship. I was going to ship it out with DC's package until I... I just wanted to Google, can you ship beer through USPS? Luckily, I, I looked it up because that's highly illegal. I didn't know that. You can only ship beer through UPS and FedEx. And, uh, yeah, if that ship... I would have shipped that out. I'm not going to jail, so... Uh, Ed, you might have to wait an extra day. I need to get a box. I can't use the post office box because obviously it's got the United States Post Office logo on it. But they're packed up. They're ready to roll. And uh, as long as I got a box, they'll go out tomorrow. Thank you. Where the fuck is my package? Jason, your package is left two years ago. It should be there very soon. If you don't get off your phone, I'm I will cut. posting. Posting what? I figured it out. Let's say what's up to Adam. What's up, Adam? Back in black. Brian, Dylan, you piece of shit. Cannon Vapors in the house. Lovely Cheryl. Uh, I'm going to say Darren. I'm probably saying that wrong. Ed Barkley, you drunk son of a bitch. Florida Boy 420. Gary Cole, a.k.a. the White Gary Coleman. We got Happy Hippie, who's got a full fridge of Mad Dog 2020. Check out his shorts. If you thought I was an alcoholic, uh, he's a bigger alcoholic. Jack the Flash, what's going really? on? What? Really? Yeah. I don't know. They still sell that shit. Oh, yeah. 
They the still sell are, it? People are doing videos like, this used to be big back in the day. Guess I'm going to try it now. And, other, and then, like, older people are like, let me tell you something about Don't try it. <laughs> That's a hangover. Like, there ain't no way like to avoid a hangover people from are that. doing videos trying it. And then older people are like, you're going to be really upset in about 20 minutes. <laughs> that comes with a hangover. Yeah. It'll fuck you up, but it comes with a hangover. Jackie Chan's in the house. We got Jack the Flash. We got Jay Zen. We got the lovely Jennifer here. We got Jean Paul Glasgow all the way from North Korea. We got Joshua. We got Marcus, that fucking that son of a bitch posting that disgusting photo of me. Mifit Steve in the house. Neil Pitts. Oh, Chuck. Presents. Because he presents presents to everyone. Guess Chris Maddie gave you $3. Speaking of smuggling shit. You know how many people that live in Illinois come across the river here in Missouri to buy cigarettes. Do That's they? a whole lot of smuggling. By the way, Mark, how many cartons you need? They do I'll... that in Indiana, too. Yeah, we, I used to do that in people Indiana. We used to do that for Indi to go to Indiana. It was cheaper than... Because the taxes. Cook County taxes are ridiculous, so taxes are cheaper. And... I'll take two cartons of uh, Newport 100s. Thank you. I am Caucasian, but I still enjoy Newports very much. Thank you. <laughs> Richard, what's up? Mr. Ron Jeremy, Rifle Man. We got Ryan Cox in the house. We got Terry, who's drunk as shit. We got Troy, who isn't drinking. We got Bachelor, who quit drinking. We got the Greek Goddess, and whoever else didn't make the list because YouTube probably doesn't like it, or you're late. One we or the other. We went to uh, our friend had a her dad had a trailer cabin or something, and like way down, woo, way yeah, where southern was Illinois, Astoria. And when we were leaving, we stopped in a little. Shoestring gas station place is dead, and they had they did not sell Newports. Mark was trying to get a pack. Was that when you were still smoking? Yes, that was yeah. way back when. Yeah, so he tried to get a pack of Newports. That we don't sell Newports here, and I was like, "Oh, that's how you keep them out." And she was like, "I don't appreciate that comment, ma'am." That's racist <laughs> as shit. Uh, I'm just going to say, like, it, it doesn't matter whether you're black, white, Mexican, or Italian. You still like Newports. You like menthol yeah. cigarettes. Watch your smelling ass and balls, you nappy motherfucker. Like, oh, you. That's how you keep Rod them away. Rod Chuck gave you like $5. Angela looks beautiful tonight, Mark. Oh, thank you. You, not so much. Angela looks bitchy tonight. Yeah, I'm sad. Yeah, so, uh... The boy's birthday. He's 16, guys. We have a 16 year old. Yeah. Officially 16. Where are you going, Bubs? So, uh, for those that even know who Shoestring is, he was missing March 26th, 27th, around there. And even though he's a train hopper, he just vanished. No one could find him. And they found a body behind his, in the lake of his. The river or whatever it is. What's a lake and a river? What's the difference? Do you know? Um, if you don't know, so you don't know. You don't know. I don't know. In the lake behind his house, they didn't confirm him, but they called off the search party so that, yeah, it's... Uh, Angela, who are you? What do you mean? It's a sad day. <laughs> Buy him a car. Well, so we opened up... Why is it on? We opened him up a savings account, so he... Um, wants to save for a car because he wants a very specific car for himself. Yeah. Grandma is giving him her van. That, that so might So that happen. will be the his first car so then he can just drive that into the ground. Because I'm sure all of you know your first car cannot be a brand new glorious car because you're going to drive it into the ground. Um, all right, Lake. I'm sorry, Lake then. So he... Put both of his, he's got two paychecks now. We picked up his second paycheck today. So he put both of those in the savings account. He put all his birthday money he got from everybody and hit the savings account. So he's, so far he's got about $1,000 in his little savings account. He's doing pretty good so far. Is there borrowing money off him? I know, right? Jesus Christ. So he's got a nice little, nice little savings already started for his little car. So he's very, he's excited. He is I okay. think he's going to do good because he's he really does want this. And when he found out the grand total of what got put into the savings account. Watch your smell of ass space. and balls, you nappy motherfucker. Chris, Chris, Chris Maddie <laughs> gave you $5. <laughs> Mark, please do this dance that the big boy is doing for a YouTube That's short. Thank hilarious. you. Then do the truffle shuffle, rub one out, smoke two joints, and report back next show. Jesus. Doctor's orders. Two joints. What are you fucking? I can barely handle half a joint. And I can never. I don't have the rhythm that fat kid has. Yeah, so he Marcus decided he's going to be saving his checks 
and just spending his you and just uh, whatever spending what, his weekly allowance. Anytime a kid gets a job and they get in a bank account, that's always their plan. Like yeah. I'm gonna save my checks. That never happens. No, but I told him I was like, if it's not, it's okay for you to spend your money. You work for it. You can spend it. Broad Chuck trying to get us excited. Good Rob evening, Chuck Kid gave Bass. You three dollars. Lod 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 But I but I told him I was like if you want do it half and half put half your check in your savings and keep the other half for you to spend. Don't say half and half because he'll turn into. Well, I I told him that would be like the most. He'll start cross dressing if you tell me he can go half and half. But you know I told him like put the rest in keep fifty bucks for yourself so you could do whatever you want. But he keeps saying no I'm just gonna keep my. My weekly allowance, that's what I'm going to spend. And I was like, oh, I didn't know we still had to give you that since you had a job. And he was yeah. like, well, yeah. I don't think we do because he doesn't do anything for it. So, yeah, that's his plan. Anyways, so, yeah. Ugh. But we had a good day. He didn't go to school. I didn't go to work. We took him shopping, got some clothes and some cologne, and woke him up to uh, breakfast, uh, McDonald's breakfast because that's what he wanted. And we bought him some balloons and... It was a nice little, it was fun. You gotta realize, you gotta be pretty retarded to take a McDonald's breakfast over an actual real breakfast. Because I told him, I was like, let's go out to breakfast. And he was like, I'm not really into breakfast like that. Like, I think McDonald's breakfast is like the perfect breakfast. I'm like, okay. And that's why he's perfectly retarded. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ah. But mm. he's, he's our little retard. Mm. Ah. He's 16. He's our little 16 year old retard. Your son deserves some, some Versace vers- cologne. Wait, he, what did he get? I don't it, it, know. No, it was Versace cologne. He did get Versace. No, it wasn't Versace. Yes, it is. No, it was some other... It starts with a V. Versace. It, was, it wasn't Versace. If I go up there and get it, do I have to go get it? It wasn't Versace. I can guarantee you it wasn't Versace. It was another V. It's a new, like a new one. The oh, bottle's all spiky. yeah. We got a new member alert. Actually, he's probably not new. He's been a member for 43 months, but YouTube is fucking cross-eyed. And we want to say thank you to the lovely Mr. Atomizer for being a member for 43 months. Thank you, sir. Uh, just stop to say what's up. Gotta go, Mark. See you in the morning. LOL, Angela. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Don't start that shit, Atomizer. Good night, you son of a bitch. It's a black spiky bottle. I thought it was Versace, no? No, it's called... I don't know, it's, I want to, not Venom, it's called something with a V. Versace, Versace, Versace's an older cologne. This is like something new. But it doesn't matter, like, he can wear fancy cologne, but he dresses like a fucking, he wears fucking jogging pants. Oh, crotch. Valentino. There we go. He yeah, wears Valentino jo- cologne. It's something else. He, he wears jogging too. pants, Crocs, and like tight pants. Now like, he's not wearing Crocs that much anymore. He's wearing his loafers. Vagina. Terry, oh, I wait for. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Can Ed's you get fucking. That strawberry beer, so we could try it. Can I read Ed's uh, member? Doesn't for 46 it pop up months? over there? It, shut your mouth. Yeah, it does pop up. But when does the perks kick in for being a member to this channel? Uh. You have to be a member for 48, 86 months. 48 months, Ed. For, you got two more months to go. And I'm trying to wait for Terry's thing to pop up, but apparently it's being slow tonight. So I'll just say thank you to Terry. Tell your son I got a PayPal account. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Terry, you spoke. Fucking... I did get a beer for us to try. Us? As in me too? You said you were going to taste it. I really wanted to try it. It's on the bottom. You put There's it on the Terry. bottom. Terry Scooter donated $2. Tell your son I got a PayPal account. Thank you, Terry. It's a fruity... What is it called? It's called Fruity Friends. It's called, uh... Half Acre. Put your little beer cam on. Motherfucker, it's a button right there. You can easily hit it. Here we go. We're going to try this. Fruity Friends! That looks so gay and woke. (laughs) Jesus. There's the little things about it. It's a Chicago company. Ugh. Let me pour it and let me taste it first. So that way, I can tell you if you're gonna like it or not. Cause I'll know. I don't. Th- I don't know if it's a beer though. Is it a beer? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what it says. It's got a little pink hue to it. That's a lot of head. You're gonna spill over. Yeah. And there it goes. That's a great picture right there. That is a good picture. Let's see. Luckily, I got my cum rag. It's probably the same cum Wait. rag I've had for three weeks. 
Shoo doo boo boo. Head turns to beer. Don't you worry. Fucking fruit beer. What the fuck kind of show is this? Don't touch it yet. I'm gonna take. Oh, I was gonna. I thought you were gonna wipe it up. Do, 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 do. I didn't think it was actual beer. Beer. A strawberry with herpes. Kind of what it looks like, yeah. Wash your smelling ass and balls, you nappy motherfucker, you. Six pack kid gave you five dollars. <laughs> Mark, when does my membership start? Uh, members, your membership started two years ago, actually, uh, Six Pack Kid. Without you knowing, I've been hitting your credit card on the side, and I've been draining your account. So, uh, thank you, Let's Six Pack Kid. Let's celebrate their twentieth super on live stream. What does that mean? I who are we celebrating? Is that are we celebrating Brian's? Oh yeah, yeah, right there. There's a twenty right there. Oh look at this! Let's celebrate Brian's twentieth super. Does that mean super donation? I don't know what it means. But thank you, Brian, you fucking low-hanging son of a bitch. Get the damn soda stream. I'm getting it, but I know Angela's not going to fucking like it because she's... Fucking... How do you know? I might really like it. If you don't... If you're bitching about just... Uh, of the, if you're bitching about that... Uh, Brian Ferguson like donated $5. Get the damn soda stream. It, it, save a lot, it will definitely save a lot of money, I'll tell you that damn much. But you're woke ass buying all this seltzer water and no, like you can't drink regular water. Regular fucking water, like a normal human. You can't drink, drink regular the kitty fucking beer gave you three yeah, dollars. Yeah, special beer. And sending my windowless fan if he's interested. You might need to paint it a different color. Cops might or might not be looking for it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no this idea. This is getting ridiculous. Chris Matty gave Hi, you three dollars. New game idea called Iron Mike Mark. Mark drinks while Angela wears sixteen ounce boxing gloves, and every time Mark says something dumb, Angela gives him a right hook to the face. Yeah, good luck with that one. That didn't happen. You know what I really, really want to do, and he won't do it because he says we'll get bad at each other. Is the game where you do rock paper scissor, but you have water in your mouth like a lot, like your cheeks are puffed up, and you hit, and whoever wins at the rock paper scissor hits the other person in the face with the tortilla. You know how a it, tortilla hurts. Hilarious though. The videos are hilarious. Yeah, they're hilarious until you got fucking welts on your face because <laughs> you use a corn tortilla to fucking slap somebody with. You don't use corn. You use flour. I did hear it back from vaping art. Yes, Ed. Can you? I would like to taste that. Oh, I soon. would too. I'm trying to. Let's do a smell. Hold on. We gotta be proper. It smells like wet cardboard and dirty vagina. Ooh, it actually smells like a dirty urinal. Now, here we go. I'm Can gonna say. Me? I will say if you will like this or hate it. Do you like wine? Yes. Do you like bitter wine? I, You're probably I... not gonna like it. Zero sweetness, all bitterness. Give it a shot. Tastes like wine, carbonated wine to me. No sweetener in it. It's all just straight sour strawberry. So it's dry. That's called dry. Your mom's dry. And I do like it. Because this tastes almost just like that. You like uh, anything that has alcohol in it. No. This tastes a lot like that uh, cider like, that I had at that brewery. It's very dry. It tastes like, there's no like, I don't taste. I don't taste strawberry though. I That's taste, one thing. It's dry though. It's not sweet, it's dry. Get the soda stream at the Goodwill. <laughs> you can put that up there with all your I gotta, things. I gotta get the soda stream off Amazon because I know after the first time well, she tries it, she's not gonna like it, so I can box it back up and send it back. And this will not be a 10-hour fucking stream, ST. Shut your mouth. I told him it should be, but... I got a party. I got parties to go to tomorrow. Yeah, huh? It's not bad, It's but it's dry. But it's... I. It tastes like a, a cider. It tastes like a bitter, like a fucking sour wine with no sugar in it. That's what it tastes like. So it tastes like a dry cider. Your definition of dry is different from my definition. When I think dry, I think uh, dry vagina. When you say dry, you think of sour wine. Read a question or do something. Could be dry dick. Too. I like the game idea, except you slap her in the face with the eight inch slong you're packing. If I had eight in inches, I wouldn't be here right now. No, sir. I wouldn't sir. have an attitude problem either. Yep, wouldn't have an attitude <laughs> problem. I'm, a, I'm upset with what Jesus gave me. You're a good, like, what, 
six inches? Man, would you fucking goddamn read the questions? Know, have you ever measured? No, there ain't nothing to measure. You're a fucking liar. I every was bigger. Guy when, has, every guy has measured. I was How bigger. Big is it? When I was skinny, I was way bigger than I was when that I was fat. That doesn't have anything to do with it. It has a lot to do because your pelvic uh, area takes up the length. If you push, if you get rid of that chub that's around the pelvis, you get rid. Like you gain inches. And if you don't believe that, then you obviously don't know uh, okay. men or penises. Well, I guess not then. Dylan says, Happy Friday, bitches. Did you know there was an earthquake in New York? No, but I did know that there was one the other day in Taiwan, a huge-ass one that was pretty bad. Yeah, apparently there was one in uh, there was one in New York. I didn't actually look about it. Mark. Why does this keep going on? I'm telling you, that light is haunted. That's the one that keeps going. Mark, did my selfie make you hard? Actually, DC, your selfie made me horny. That's actually kind of like what I look like, to be honest with you, DC. A fatty it's pubis. Pretty sad. <laughs> it's called a f fupa. Yeah, for all the guys that are overweight, tell me you were not bigger when you were skinnier. And for anyone that says no, you're a fucking liar. Feels the same. Yeah. We, you didn't know me when I was skinny. When we got together, you weren't this big. Fuck you. What are you saying? I'm big? No, I'm just saying. When we got together, I was bigger than you. You can look at, you can go back in our photos and see. I was like 210 when I was, like, oh, when I not, was young. When we got together, No, you were, I wasn't 210, no. You were like 250. You weren't as big as you are now. I was a lot skinnier, though, before I met you. So you had better dick before you met me, then? Yes. Fuck you, then. That's what happens when you... Maybe I had better hoo-ha before I met you. Yeah, you never know. Uh, how do they say? Oh, no, it's the older the berry, the sweeter the juice, right? So, actually, the older you get, apparently, it's supposed to get better. The pelvic chub never goes away. Does it, though? You uh, just have to get it cut off. I'll cut that <laughs> shit off in the garage. Angela you... also has a pecker. How do you know, Marcus? Uh, I'm not pushing 400. <laughs> not yet, at least. Uh, Jacqueline says, Happy Friday, <laughs> bitches, question... Our boiler, our boiler fucked up this week and is looking like it cannot be repaired. Thank God it's not too cold at the minute, but my question inspi is inspired by that. Okay. Angela on. can't read. Give her, you gotta use It's not words. too cold at the moment, but my question inspired by that is what is one modern item you could not do without the air conditioner? What the fuck is a boiler? <laughs> the heater, the water heater. Oh, a water heater? Yeah. They call it a boiler? Yeah. I didn't know that. I'm going to say, I don't know. The older I get, the more I could probably do with that. I don't know. The washing machine? I, I don't want to go back to hitting uh, hitting my clothes on rocks. I don't, I don't want to do uh, that. Have you done that before? No, I'm saying, but if we didn't have wash, like, you know, if the apocalypse came, there was no more washing machines, you have to go and hit your clothes on rocks and stuff. Like the I'm going to say the toilet, because the older you get... The harder it would be to take a shit outside. It'd get really messy. No, you dig a hole. You put something on there you could sit on. There's, It's an outhouse. It's no. It's been a thing for a long time. I could do an outhouse. That's not... No, a washer and the AC. No, I don't have the RTA, Scrally. Uh, Vaping Art's getting them in, and they'll put you on a list if you want one. They're supposed to have them in a few weeks. I said my wife's mouth, not her voice. Ooh. <laughs> He'd probably say the same thing. By the way, we are using the, uh, I don't know if you want to call it the fish glass or the shark glass, but we'll call it the shark glass, because that is probably more of a shark than it is a fish. Thank you, Hippie. You fucking son of a bitch. Hippie said he's on a list. Yeah, I think everybody that watches this shit. Why does this glass keep fucking echoing when I talk? You hear that? No. Like, whatever you... Hello? Is it real crystal? I don't think it's real crystal. Crystal. Hit this one. It's full though. That's this the cheap. Empty. That's the cheap one I bought off Amazon for like five dollars. Isn't this the one you got at the store? No, that's the one I bought off, off Amazon. This one's got like. Yeah, but yours is empty. That's probably like. It's beer time, bitch. <laughs> Cause it's empty, Kid Bass. Stop trying. I'd say a vibrator. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop trying to be scientific. Logo on the glass is from Dogfish Head Brewery. We know that, Rob. That, well, that's what I thought, um, but it doesn't say Dogfish Head anywhere on the cup, so I just I maybe think it says it underneath. Oh, does it? It says 
the what does it say? I thought it would just happen to be a shark. Don't spill the goddamn beer. Oh, it says something else. I can't read that. But no, we we figured that out last week. I didn't realize how. Where's the seltzers? I have this, and I'm not happy about it. Vids of your mom. <laughs> it's the it's the most gayest seltzer ever. I can't. I really can't call this a seltzer because it's not bubbly. It's like a spring water. Well, does this say happy dad on it? I mean, apparently only gay dads are drinking <clears throat> it. Tom Spichowski. Oh, he, he leaves questions? Yeah, I guess so. Obviously, says, if bit... I'm bleeding from my nose every time I try to snort my drug of choice, is this a problem with my body or my lifestyle or both? Or is it that I snort Glade Fresh Meadow Carpet Freshener when my guy is out? It's actually none of that, Tom. It's actually because you're... Your shit's being cut with crushed glass, and you're actually snorting glass, which is ca causing the bleeding. Jennifer, you're right. I should have just paid what I needed to pay. So you need got to... my white claw. I should not step out from what I like. You need to find a new dealer, Tom. One that doesn't use crushed glass, preferably baby laxatives. Thank you. Shout out to Robert Screlly for going under the radar for his donation. Because now, Jennifer, I have 12 of these fucking things I got to finish off. You gotta finish them until you buy White Claw. That's for damn sure. And he said nothing. Angela probably like good old Bailey's. I like Bailey's, but I like like Bailey's and Kahlua and coffee. Robert, why don't you ever say anything when you make a donation, you son of a bitch? Regardless, though, thank you, sir, for that donation. I've told him and our friends several times, but it was always a code word at our family parties. My cousin would. Um, get me alcohol but she would be like hey angela do you want some coffee and that would be the code word and then she would give me a little bit of coffee and fill it with baileys tell i don't think i would boof i can't even talk by the i don't think what is boof? when you stick it up your ass oh but if you're using if your shit's being cut with crushed glass i don't think i'd stick it in my ass either i would probably just sell it to somebody else and get some real stuff James, I know nothing about drugs. Thank you. It's on again. What? I'm telling you, that light is haunted. It's been doing it for the... Ever since we moved in this house, that light goes on by itself. And I've had it plug into different outlets and everything, and it still does it. All right, enough with the cup. I got to fill it up, motherfucker. Give me the well, get a beer then and fill it up. I got to rinse it out because I'm trying a new beer tonight. One that I wanted to try for... I I've saw Arizona it. iced tea, ginseng. Oh, yeah, I saw those too. Kind of woke ass son of a bitch rinses out of glass. Sad, you guys. Just sad. Damn, it turned cold. What turned cold? Uh, Ginger says, now that Marcus is 16, how much rent is he paying for room and board? <sighs> We're paying him still, technically. <laughs> I'm hoping he's, he gets a girlfriend soon and we, we could kind of work some deal out. Well, obviously, she's got to be legal, but still. Right? I, we will never know when he has a girlfriend. He will not bring a girl here anymore. Nope. Once the girl's seen all the cameras I had around the house, they're like, you know what? Your dad's a little weird. I've seen this beer so many times, and I wanted to try it, but the only reason I didn't want to try it because it only came in a 12-pack, but now I've seen Hi, a six-pack, and I always wanted to try it, so now we're going to try it. I know nothing about it. Must be the ghost. Cheryl, every night, every day when we come down stairs, like we go to bed, everything's turned off. We come down in the morning, and that lamp is on, and this lamp has been turning on now since we've been sitting here. It's been, well, because it's usually over there, but now I moved it. No, it's the same lamp that's been... Oh, my God. No, it's not... Home. That one broke, remember? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wasn't going on last week. Now that's a fucking, that's a perfect pour right there. Was Get your panties wet it? on that. Easy, man. Let it settle. What the hell's wrong with you? I just wanted to smell it. I'm trying to. What Can is we... the grapefruit, grapefruit smell? Is that the hops? I believe so. I don't know. I'm not a fucking, I'm an alcohol expert, not a beer expert. <clears throat> If Mark was my dad, I wouldn't bring a girlfriend over either. Mark gives off pedo vibes. Well, he had brought one, uh, it was the summer, I think, when he went from eighth, eighth grade to freshman year. 
He had three little girls come over. Whoa, and whoa, whoa, whoa. Not, easy. Okay, Don't... not little girls. Okay, three girls easy. came over. Jesus, And they were arrested? all hanging out upstairs. And, oh, Marcus got pissed. He was pissed that day. I would have brought him over by myself. I was like, you know what? Because he's it. like, they could hear you what you guys were saying. Blah, 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 blah. I'm never bringing them back here. I was like, okay, sorry. I guess kids nowadays, don't they don't do the shit we used to do. Uh, thank you to Mr. Shkreli again. You son of a bitch. You didn't have to do that. But uh, happy birthday for the kid. Uh, my e sixteen. Good luck, L M F A. Laughing my fucking ass off. I'll be sure to give that to Marcus. My I know you won't e, think I will, but I will. Thank you, tequila, Robert. But Angela is looking more and more like sake. I don't know what that means, Ginger. Sake. The no, I, I, I don't understand what that whole situation means. Okay, may I think? Uh, I don't know what it means. I think maybe Ginger's hitting a tequila tonight. So he's so drunk that you start you're looking like uh, Jen Saki now from the White House. Oh, is that Maybe? good or bad? Good because she's pretty. Well, I think she's pretty hot, but a lot of people don't like her. But politically, I give two shits what she does. Angela, it's 56 degrees outside. It's freezing to me. Oh no, it's it's fucking cold here too. Grab my uh, Pure Max, please. Baby Bachelor, it was uh, it's been snowing the last several days, and it is currently 44 degrees right, 42 degrees. But feels like... Feels like a dry vagina outside. Feels like 38. It's fucking cold. It's but not it's going to be 70 Monday. Yeah. And it's been like raining slush for days. I would drink Saki's bath water, just saying. All right, shut up. Let me try this. This is going to be the groundbreaker right here. Or whatever word I'm looking for. It smells like dirty urine. Here we go. Is it worth buying? Tastes like a regular old IPA. Mm. Sorry about your luck. I mean, no, it's drinkable, but it's nothing like, oh nothing. my Jesus. Nothing to write home about. But if you're looking for something that's like afford, like this is an this is an affordable IPA. What does that mean? It's not one of those like woke fucking like eleven dollar four uh, packs. Fagan, are you do going to do a review on the Eclipse? The Eclipse. What the fuck is the Eclipse? Is it one of Mike's mods. You don't know nothing about that. Nope. Monday, the moon is oh, going the moon. over the sun for a big old eclipse that's not coming back here till like 2070 or something stupid. You know what would be hilarious? If every all the kids on TikTok do a, like a little trend to where they look directly at the eclipse and see if they actually go blind. <laughs> you know how funny that would be? And every, all the kids on TikTok actually go blind? Isn't it, isn't it how that works? You can't look at it directly, which I don't see how yeah, that's... Yeah. I don't even believe that. You want to know something crazy? My book that I'm reading, it's about zombies or whatever. And the one guy, his kid who died, his birthday was April 5th, 2028. Oh, that's Marcus. Isn't that crazy? That I just read crazy. that part today and I was like, shut up. I don't, yeah, I don't, is anyone willing They've to... They've been telling us that since we were kids. You can't look at the eclipse. You have to... Remember in school, we had to get the little box with a little hole in it, and you look at it through the little hole, and... Look who's in... They got internet down in Puerto Rico? Of course. You fucking son of... You, this high-rolling son of, He don't like hanging out in America anymore. He goes to fucking Puerto Rico. I didn't know there was a McDonald's and a Walmart in Puerto Rico. Did you know that? Yes. I thought it was all taco carts. This fucker, he's probably drunk they as shit right now. They have McDonald's in China. They have McDonald's in Mexico. They have McDonald's everywhere. They have McDonald's? Yes. McDonald's? That's the plural form of McDonald's. His liver is going to be hurt when uh, he gets back. John DeJung says, no question today. I only have answers. Have a nice weekend. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> I need an answer. Why? <laughs> What's up, Skeptical? Oh, let's see. There's another question. 714. Uh, we got one more question. Jamie, will Mark get drunk and pretend to be Hulk Hogan again this week? Oh, God. Dude, that picture is fucking horrifying. Did I actually do that last week? Did I actually take my shirt off and my hat off and sit there? I like... guess, because you came upstairs and your shirt was... And I was like, what did you do to well, your I, shirt? I, remember like, cu- I had to cut it. <laughs> well, I remember cutting my shirt in half, but I don't remember taking it off completely. Like, that's a really sad photo. Like, there might have been at least maybe one woman out there who was like, you know what, he ain't bad. And then they, 
when they seen that photo, like, oh, yep, never mind. Let's unsubscribe. I look way better with my clothes on, ladies. Just put it out there. I showed the one doctor the photo where they turned you into the midget. On into the oh into the, the baby little, little no I thought it was a sh little person that they turned you into not a baby when you were like I'm looking and you're yeah, sitting in the chair that was a baby it's not a baby it's a little person that's a baby no it's because we were talking about dwarfs that day that was the same day that you said you don't like Siamese people because you're not into Asians and that's not what that meant oh Jesus that's racist when did I realize that Angela was the one <laughs> he still hasn't still haven't realized that Steve that takes a good. 40, 50 years to realize something like that? Actually, I think when you're on your deathbed, that's when you realize it. Like, oh, she's still here. I guess she's the one. Mm hmm. Yeah, Shirley, you didn't miss much. I can tell you that right now. Look, that, a... light went by, that light just went back on. Did you guys see it? Elite, just let it go on. I'm telling you, it's, it keeps going on. It's That's why I leave it on at night because it just goes on. The weird thing is, though. You can leave it on and it won't go off, but Angela, you leave it off and it goes on. Yeah, Angela that makes no is sense. The wokest woman I've ever met. What does that mean, though? I mean, you're awake. Mean? I can guarantee she ain't woke because she's always sleeping. So, the drunk live has started. Thank you, Angel. What the hell was it? Oh, that's a fucking. Why is that? How did that go on? Oh, that's on a. Oh, it's on a timer. It's on a temperature thing. Oh. What is Roger doing? I don't know. Why is he all walking around? Don't, don't let him go underneath there. Oh. There's semen and fucking coils. Come here. Fucking. Come say hi. Uh, uh, E-liquid and dried well, up beer. Come and say hi, Bubs. I don't want him getting pregnant oh. walking under there. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. He looks like he's suffering. You should put him under. <laughs> say hi to everybody. They haven't seen you in a while. Say hi. He's like, please put me under. Please. What do I have to do or eat for you to put guys put me under? Roger, just just say the word. Say the word. We'll stick you in the garage and we'll put. Hi, the, Dad. We'll do the whole we'll do the whole exhaust pipe thing. What's the matter, Bubba? Us? Oh God, I'm huh? talking baby talk. He's got a little umbilical hernia right there. See, bloop bloop bloop. He's got a hernia. Yeah, a little belly button hernia right here. When did that happen? Uh, since he was born, he had he was born like that. Lovely. Born with a hernia. That's a that's a purebred dog right there for you. <laughs> Alright, can we get rid of the fucking dog? This ain't a dog show. Oh, well, he's sad for some reason. If he's coming over here, what the matter, Bubs? He's huh? probably been hitting the pipe. What the matter? He might be on his last breath right now. This might be it for him tonight. Be nice to Raj. I am being nice to him. Just being honest. This, this could be it for Roger. Get rid of the fucking dog, man! People ain't fucking watching this shit to see you kiss a dog. Maybe they are. This ain't fucking under. This ain't the black, uh, the dark web, the black web, the dark web. <laughs> the black web. I'll trade oh, you a boxer for Roger. Mm. Oh, mommy, baby. Oh, mommy, baby. Boxers scare me. Boxers are like pit bulls. They scare me. At least you know bulldogs are retarded. Like they're not gonna turn on you because they're they're you go, Bob. they're too slow. They can't do it. Are you? I haven't been a wire even. We need to replace you on the show. Oh. Yes, we are here. We are he precious. You are just jealous. If he's precious, then I'm. Just... Why in the fuck isn't the guitar on anymore, you son of a bitch? Oh, shit. Dump the truck gave you $3. There goes Hippie. You knew that I was coming because you heard my name, but you don't know my game and never felt my pain. Can't read my brain, but you read my lips and got scared when you heard that I was coming with hits. Now don't even trip. Be a man instead. Give thanks. I'm. I don't, definitely don't know that song. Those are lyrics. That's Hippie. Uh, the reason why the, the, uh, the guitar is never on, A, it's covered in beer cans, and B... Oh, where the fuck's it at? Uh-oh, I lost it. There we go. Motherfucker, my pants are falling down as it is. <laughs> because the power bank that I decide to plug it in with, because I don't have batteries for it, I haven't charged up. Charge up the power bank. 
And it's not really a beer. It's a strawberry she's not gonna, beer. She's not going to drink what it. What am I doing this? Plug it in. Where? Oh, give me that. You're not going to you're going to get confused and I am drinking it. Well, yeah, I know there's three other ones though. Those won't ever get touched. I'll drink them every Friday. Golden Retriever they will enslave their owner by giving Dude, I that I always want a Golden Retriever. I would trade mm -hmm. in a Golden Retriever for Roger any day of the week. Hopefully you can. You mean you would trade Roger in for a Golden Retriever? Yes. Dumbass. I would trade you in for a Golden Retriever any day of the week. I will be happy to go. Find a golden retriever. We're gonna make it happen. <laughs> -boo -boo -boo. Golden retrievers are so cute. I love watching the videos where they have the fo the like the camera on the like on the ground and they're looking at them and it's Johnny's going swimming. That son of a bitch. You should see that pool that they're in. I know. I see. Just gonna keep sending me photos. I'm gonna have to hit her in the throat when she comes back. You show me a little video, like little party area. I'm like, holy fuck! I could fucking throw a. Thanks fucking... for inviting us, guys. Yeah, I go to fucking Puerto Rico. What are well, you nuts? Fuck, I will. Shit, leave your ass here. They may not come back if they're in Puerto Rico. Well, they didn't have to invite you. They could have just invited me. I'm the life of the party. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think we should get we should get rid of Roger and get a golden retriever. We should get rid of you and get a golden retriever. That's even better. Wait till I'm asleep and just fucking shoot me up with something, and I won't even wake up. And I'm out. Sell my shit to cover the funeral cost. I'm good. Make sure you do a live stream of my funeral, because that way we get donations and people will watch. Don't, don't, don't tempt me. Uh, have you ever seen a live stream of a, of a funeral? Mm-hmm. I haven't, actually. I think it actually... And I live stream the Queen's funeral. Oh, well, and I want to have one of those funerals where I'm not in a casket, but you stuff my body and you stand me up and prop me up. Billy Lee, you could just bring you and your doggies over here once we get rid of this big old St. Bernard... Oh, you're getting rid of Roger already? No, I would never consider Roger St. Bernard. That's you. Yeah, don't ever. Yeah, you're right, Chuck. Purebreds. You would think purebreds are like the thing to get. Like, purebred dog is the best. Nope, they're the worst. We never had problems with Haley. The fuck we didn't. What do we have problems with? I don't know. What, Towards the, the, end of, the end of her life, that was different. She was dying. She just died out of the blue. Okay, well, it, it does happen. I've... Uh, I looked all over the internet, and sometimes it just fucking happens. But we had her for seven years. Never had the only issue we ever had with her was her allergy, where her. she kept getting the ear infections. And we figured out what that was. So once we stopped giving her those specific treats, the ear infections stopped. She had a little bit of digestive issues, so she was on the prescription food too. But then when she was on that, those things stopped. We never had one, not one single issue with her. I want to know if it's true. If you look at the eclipse, <clears throat> will you go blind? I want to know if that's a true statement. Well, go out there Monday and figure it out. Man, I'm already fucking pretty much, my lights are already pretty much out. I remember when I was in grammar school, we used to make glasses to go out and look at the, the yeah, eclipse. Dump the truck gave you $3. Am I in too deep? Have I lost my mind? I don't care. You're here tonight. I can be your hero. Baby, I can kiss away the pain. I will stand by you forever. You can take my breath away. Oh, I just want to hold you. I just want to hold you. Oh, that sounds gay as shit. But I know that song. God damn, what is that song? I know that song. Did, but you, I... did, you, did he do something? Move. Oh, no. He probably needs to go out. That's why he kept bugging us. I took him out before we came down here, and he pooed in pee. Oh, here we go. I feel it now. That's why he's walking around. Is it some 41? Is it? Ooh, that... That's Roger. That's Angela. Did he do something? I bet he did. Asshole Eddie gave you three dollars. Look up on YouTube Gigi Allen's funeral. Oh, Gigi Allen? That dude was fucking nuts. There was... I watched this one funeral of this gangbanger. I don't know if he was, like, in this country or in another country. But... I don't know if they stuffed his ass or what, but he was standing up. He had a hat on. He had sunglasses on. He was just, like... He was chilling like this at the funeral. And people would just walk up and, like, he was dead. I'm like, dude, that is the creepiest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. But that would be funny as hell because, you know, imagine someone coming to your funeral like, oh, it's going to be closed casket. What's going to be the case? Like, holy shit, that motherfucker's standing up. 
I'd walk up and slap the shit out of him. Like, you fucking bitch! And then just knock, knock his corpse over. <laughs> yeah. Something happened upstairs. What happened? He probably has to go out. He's like, bitch, I gotta fucking take a shit. Take me outside. Take him out. Do something. Clean the house while you're up there. Oh, shut up. God damn. Look it up. Yeah, we'll play later. I know who Gigi Allen is, but I'll definitely look it up. Here we go with dead people. I'm just saying, like, you know, stuff me and stand me up. And then when you come to my funeral, just give me a bitch slap. Uh, what a flower tortilla. Uh, got any questions? Mm-mm. So he's going to sit there and I drink? Them all. Mm-hmm. all right, nice. Two alcoholics just drinking their life what away. This? What's what? Oh, it's my hat I threw out. Yeah, pull it out of the garbage can. Because they sent me that hat. A, it's too small. B, I know Ooh. someone else already wore it. C, I, yeah, there's probably shit on it. Oh, uh, what happened here? Uh, D, it's called a screensaver. <coughs> e, we got a donation from. Oh, here we go. This is some racist. Kalei Sumasa gave you $3. Konnichi Womaku O Genshi Desuka. Who said that? We got a lot of Chinese uh, followers out there. Chinese, Japanese, Taiwanese, whatever the fuck they are. Anyways, uh, shout out to shout out to that Chinese son of a bitch. Hell, better yet, watch some lives of the drunk, the murder junkies. What is that? I don't think I've seen that. What's up, Georgia boy? Yeah, those. Uh, Mark promises promise Canada. That he was, oh yeah, was it, was that this, that wasn't this weekend. I wouldn't promise something that weekend. That shit's nasty. Well, you I, could drink the uh, nah, I'm not, stuff. No, nah, I'm not drinking that shit. <laughs> that shit's, I mean, it'll go, it, that, that'll go down faster than White Claw because it's less carbonated, but still, it tastes like shit. Why did I waste time asking a Facebook? That shit, did you? You it, didn't, unless you asked it in somebody else's question, um, but... We did get a PayPal donation from uh, Charles O'Brien. Cool to see you drinking beer, Angela. It's not that, really a beer, though. Eh, it's not real beer. It tastes more like wine. Though. Is it in here? So, Baby Bachelor asked a question under Dylan that says... Did Ron Jeremy drop his cock to grab his socks? Uh, Ron Jeremy's cock doesn't work anymore. And he also posted under Tom's question and says, "Bad choice of dr- drig." If you like pickles and pickle juice, see, I thought when I bought this, it was just going to be like you know beer, but just like a slight hint of like sourness. No, this is straight carbonated. Alcohol infused pickle juice, and you keep turning that light on and off. I I'm didn't. Gonna... Well, tell the ghost to stop. This is fucking straight pickle juice. It's not that it's not good; it's really good. But this is definitely something you want to drink, like during a barbecue or dinner. You just don't crack one of these open and start drinking them. Holy fuck! There's so much sodium probably in this shit. My nose is running. Does this say the sodium on this on this can? Actually, they don't give. Uh, do they do the whole? Like my nose is running. That's why I drank that. Long Wang. Long Wang gave you three dollars. Why didn't it read it? Dong dong. Ding dong 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 dong. Long Wang. That's not racist. That's actually Chinese. I know. I actually went to a Chinese high school. I dated three Chinese women. And you gotta learn Chinese when you're dating Why Chinese. Why not unplug the letter? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Because it's all, it's all. Uh, it's like a small, like uh, electrical fire waiting to happen down here. <laughs> How is it racist? You guys don't even know if I'm talking Chinese or not. First of all, you're probably saying some racist ass shit in Chinese. I sent you a link to your phone. Oh shit! Here we go. <clears throat> GG Allen's funeral. Shubapu. Christopher. 
Wait, the, oh, wait a minute. Chris, oh, wait, that's Screlly. Oh, yeah, wait, that's... A couple. Those are going through there. Hold on. Yeah, but they go through there, so it's different. Um, What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I'll Mark, watch are this. you coming in Zoom tonight? I'll be in there for a little while. I'm not staying in there all fucking night, though. That's for damn sure. I can't do all nights no more. My fucking... I think my... uh, I don't know. My liver... Dude, last week I was up, I sit up, I think, till 7 a.m. I know you did. It was me, Vizzy, your mom, Night Clover, and neither of us could have it. We couldn't even have our eyes open. It was so fucking horrible. Like, yeah, that was, that went way too long. There's got to be a, I got to set a timer or some shit. Uh, Robert sent me a link. Veterinarian accused of planning to sexually assault his unborn <clears throat> child. What? Yeah, I've seen that. I didn't see it, but I seen it. I figure if I click on it, I'd probably be on a list. Short Wang. Here we go. This is English version. Short of what Wang he said. gave you three dollars. Here we go. Long Bing Tang Ting Ming Bing Bang Ding Bing Tang Ching Ching Walla Walla Bing Bang. Long Bing Bang Chat. Uh huh. How does that sound go? Ooh uh, e, ooh ah ah Ching Ching Walla Walla Bing Bang. Now that's racist. Thank you, uh, uh, Lo Wang. That's completely racist but it's all right we can let it slide bing tang is good beer in indonesia <laughs> uh mark what pedal do you like best for distortion with amp it depends are you looking for like a the um the whatchamacallit is really the ocd pedal is really good but if you want some like dirty fuzziness the uh whatchamacallit is good god my brain is yeah fucking... he came up to bed and even said that he left it running he an old school rap pedal running. really good so if you want like tight rock cleanness, get an OCD pedal. There's like six different versions of it. Um, if you go on Reverb, you can get one pretty cheap. It's probably one of the best pedals, the OCD pedals. Warning: If you go in Zoom, you best not say nothing to Butta. Isn't that right, Happy Hippie? What happened? Oh, here we go. Is there a fight? Bachelor's trying to start trouble. There was some kind of fucking breakout. I don't. I was too drunk to remember what happened, but there was some kind of breakout last week. And Bash is just trying to ignite the fire, I think, is what's happening. Big underscore dong underscore wong big. underscore tong gave you three dollars. Hi. Hi, big dong wong dong. <laughs> big dong wong dong. Hopefully there's no... Uh... Those PayPal's haven't gone through there. Why are they taking so long? What are you talking about? There was PayPal donations on there and you didn't read them because you said it was going through Streamlabs. The PayPal donations go through Streamlabs. They haven't yet. They go on onto mine. You're you're like fucking way you're, you know what just you, just sit there, just look into the camera. Don't try to question stuff. Do you guys like his new hat? He didn't like it because it was white. It's but too, I like it. Cause it's gonna be all fucking. It's gonna have shit stains on it within a week. Well, don't wipe your ass with it. That's one way to stop that. Look at Night Clover. We are not talking about it. I'm, I I didn't say nothing about it. I'm just saying it's Batcher trying to stir up. Uh, he's trying to start a fight. Is what he's trying to. I know what Batcher's trying to do. He's always trying to... He's a fucking redneck. He's always trying to start a fight. He's one of those guys that walks to the bar and walks in. He's like, I fucked your mama. And then <laughs> starts to fight with the biggest motherfucker in the bar and he gets his ass whooped. And then yells at you the next day that you didn't have his back. Like, why did you have my back? Like, Because the guy was 6'5", 400 pounds? <laughs> That's why I didn't have his back? What are you, nuts? Angela runs this show. Eh, you think so. If you play on your phone or... I'm going to check to see if there's any more questions, bitch. Oh. No, you're not. Sit down. Uh, that's... My fake liver's on that side. <laughs> uh, that hurt, motherfucker. Well, so did that. You got bony knuckles. That hits the bone. <laughs> uh. This fucking light... It's not gonna It wasn't it. doing it last week. I got a small dick and <laughs> Igatasmal Dickens gave you three dollars. I'm not ashamed to let the world know it. I can't do the helicopter thou. I can't either. I'm a grower, not a shower. I can't help it that looks like Toad from Mario Brothers. <laughs> I'm not a grower or a shower. I can't do the helicopter. I just just like bing. <laughs> it's it's yeah, it's a it pretty sad. Like this. It's sad. There's nothing. That shit hurt you. 
If you, I'm going to throw your phone out in the garbage. Your mama. Well, I throw her in the garbage, too. <laughs> Hopefully she ain't watching. She's going to call me up any minute. You guys throw me in the fucking garbage? What time is it? Since you have no content, you're just sitting here vaping and drinking. 7.44. That's it? <laughs> wow. These shows used to like go by quick. Now they're like crawling past. What do you want? What's get... the matter, Bubba's? Come take him out. He's probably got to take a shit. You go potty? He's like, bitch, I've been trying to tell you this whole time. I got I a fucking... A potty. Well, maybe he's got another one. Go? What? He's got another fucking load build up. What do you want to do? Maybe he wants you to stick his finger in his ass. Who knows? No, he's coming right back over the couch. He wants me to lay down with him. There is only one helicopter man, and his name oh. happens to be... Oh my god, why did I forget? Uh, what's his name's name? Fucking what's his name? The Puerto Rican fucking love child. Voodoo. There we go. Thank you. He's the only true helicopter here. I don't know how we, well, I know how, why we know it, but it's sad that we know it. Nobody wants the fucking dog here. Everybody wants the dog here. Oh my god. He looks like See? death. Look at the daddy. Is the real B. Who the fuck is BB12? Sounds like a gay, woke, uh, Croatian rap group. We are BB12, and we're here to fuck your mama. BB12. Get the dog off the desk. Let's do, uh, can we do Roger Cam? Say hi, Bobs. You are ugly as shit up close. Got them goddamn nails. Jesus Christ, look at his nails. Say hi, Bobos. This is a Big sad... Black 12, you wee Todd. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought BB12 was a Croatian rap group. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Get this dog out here and cut his fucking nails. He's sad. Well, look at uh, his face. If you cut fucking my nuts off, I'll be sad too. Oh, look at the face. Hi, the bubble. Like, bitch, I got a sack and there's no nuts in it. Of course, he's going to be depressed. He's probably suicidal. Can we get a daily poop report? I did not poop today. Whoa. Because uh, my schedule got messed up because I didn't go to work. So. <laughs> she felt the need to take off work. It was Marcus's birthday. It was his 16th birthday. I guess that's a reason to take off work. I... Uh, 16 years ago, I got cut the fuck open and my parasitic uh, worm got taken out of my body. So, yeah. I think I deserve a day off. So, this is about so today's about you, not about him? Yes. All right. <laughs> You woke son of a bitch. Next time you have a parasite removed from your body, then you can take a day off too. I have parasites removed from my body once a week. <laughs> can we get the dog out of here? No, he wants to be part of it. You want to see this view count really go up? Stick him in the dryer. But don't put it on hot. Just put it on cool. Just to watch him spin. What? Nothing happened to him. Put it, put it on like a slow spin with no heat. It'd be like a carnival ride. He'll just be spinning around the dryer. How'd you get a parasite, Angela? Um, he injected me with his seed, and then it merged with my seed, and a parasite grew. So your son's a parasite. Yeah. What's the definition of a parasite? Something living off of another human being. Right. Uh, I don't think so. We got a lot of we got a lot of Asians in chat tonight. I um we thought it. I um we thought it gave you three dollars. New York had a huge earthquake today. Ron Jeremy survived alone. <laughs> a lot of racist uh, Asians in chat this evening. Mark should take off work for you. For Mark should take off work on the anniversary of you taking the log out of his ass. That yeah, exactly. Now that's an anniversary you should celebrate. Get a CPAP machine. What's your problem? No, he wants to cuddle. He wants me to go over there and lay with him on the couch because we were cuddling up on the. In the chair before we came down here. What the bobs? I'm always about Angela. The sooner you learn that, the better. <laughs> Angela, Roger needs a friend. Get him a cat or a dog. Jason, shut your fucking mouth. What are you? Are you getting up? Sitting down? What are you doing? Just stay where you're at. All right. Well, you got half. You got the whole fucking screen. I'm cut off. Nobody wants to see you anyway. They could hear you just fine. I'm the star of this shit. Roger's a star. Roger's a star, everybody. Roger's on his deathbed, obviously. Look at him. 
Yeah, get down. Go do something. Go lay down. Yeah, I'm like, fuck cats. Cats are just... I'll be there in a minute, Bubba. Oh, my God. I need. I do need a beer, you're right. Hold on. Another beer. Go lay down, Bubs. Go lay down, Bubs. Yep, yeah, go lay down. Come on. Send of the frame on the Roger, please. Uh, Charlie, you better shut your... Don't... You want to see the same... The, the frame should be centered on me. I'm the fucking gold star on this shit. Or silver star. Whichever one's better. Gold, I think it is. <clears throat> Roger doesn't have testicles, kid bass. He doesn't need a girlfriend. His penis doesn't work. I mean, it might. Because his mother, which you're looking at right there, got rid of his his testicles. I w don't mind keeping the dollar testicles. You wanted them removed, so. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I didn't want him fucking shooting loads all over the house and fucking my leg in the if middle of the night. If they're trained correctly, they won't shoot loads. How do you train a dog to not fuck everything? Um, you you don't. No. Yeah, no. Don't no. Be, don't you shoot a load <laughs> on that couch. My dog used to fuck my My Buddy doll, and that thing was covered in semen. I already went through the story. I'm not going through it again. And I would sleep at it with it at night to be all wet. I'm like, I love this doll. And I had dog come all over my face. And whenever my dog would fuck it, and I'd try to take the, dog, the doll away, he would bite the shit out of me. Don't ever take away a pillow or a doll that your dog is fucking. That fucker will kill you. Oh, God. <laughs> you feel better? I feel like you have some trauma. I do have some trauma. This is my fucking... Dude, that was my buddy. Me and him were tight. I had clothes. I gave him a haircut. We fucking jerked off together. Did well, my... you jerked off with him. Your dog jerked off with him. It looked like he was getting around the family. No, my dog raped him. At least once a day. I actually can still picture him fucking the shit out of him on the couch. With that mean face. Like, ah, this is my bitch. <laughs> <sighs> like he's wearing his new outfit. He's <laughs> fucking with his new outfit on. Fucking piece of shit. That dog's dead anyways. <laughs> oh, God, it's hot. How oh, dare you fuck my doll. <laughs> <laughs> that story answered a lot of questions we had about you, Mark. <laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth, DC. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just saying... You f if you fuck a kid's doll, I mean, he's going to be a little scarred for life. <laughs> Man, you better not drink too much. you got to pick up your kid. I know we go through this every Friday. Like, well, this bitch is drinking more. She ain't picking nobody up. <clears throat> so why do you say anything? Why don't you text him to find out if his buddy's... He's just, I did. He said nobody's sleeping over. He is doesn't know if Jimmy's driving home yet, but nobody's sleeping over. But if he picks him up, why can't you say, hey, man, can you drop me off? You think that would be the logical thing? Because they're probably all staying there at Isaac's house. Well, he's still like, hey, can you give me a ride home? They're not going to, no. I just got to tell the my buddy story to my wife. I'm telling you, dude. How long until Marcus is the DD, the designated? Oh, he already played that role uh, when we were at, when was that, Easter? No, not Easter. It was uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? No, Thanksgiving was here, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, we played D&D. &D, or DD, &D, not DND. &D. Stop it. I'm enjoying the sound of the, uh, uh, Nobody's enjoying that. Would you stop? I want to compare the glasses now. Check your mouth. All right, so here we go. $5 Amazon glass. And however much Hippie paid for this. This one's got more of a chime to it. I think this is... This is uh, Asian glass, and this might be glass made in Mexico. Do you do anything on this show other than sit there and vape? Oh, we haven't seen that fucking 9,000 times. Wow, that's unique. It is unique. Vaping into a glass. That shit was fucking old back in the 70s. God damn. Fine Cristal. This is Cristal. Are you supposed to, are you supposed to inhale it? No, thanks. <clears throat> Just sit there and look it off into the distance. Glenn, the only one racist here is you. It's always the one who can spot the racist is the racist. I gotta pee bad. <clears throat> is it 8 o'clock yet? Uh, it's 7.54. 
We got six minutes of this. Holy shit! Well, we started early, so isn't that you know early? We have to go to eight though. It's it's the golden rule. Wasist. It's the golden rule. Of I'll the ch- be glad when this cycle moves out and takes her pussies. That's got more head than a what? Than a Chinaman right there. Everything is from China, unfortunately. Angela's you so are... much better to look at than Mark. She even drinks prettier. Aww. What the fuck? Charlie, you better fucking... How dare you? Thank you. How is somebody supposed to drink pretty? Angela grab his pee <laughs> Give me the pee-pee. Stop. I got a piss. Don't fuck around. I'm, we're, I'm not even wearing a diaper tonight, either. <laughs> I just got to go all over the place. I wipe my ass when I pee, Kid Bass. So what? Is that normal? Angela, do a vape tornado. I don't know. That here, do blow vapor in here, and let's put the can on it, and let's see how long it stays in there. That could be our last six minutes of the show. That's how pathetic this show is. Like, hey, here's, check out their content. You got to let air in there. All right. Angela, do you love me? Sure do, butter squad. Sure do. Now, will that sit in there for the remaining of six minutes? Don't move the can. I'm not. I'm going to take a picture. Take a picture for what? I don't know. Another night of drinking? No. T- uh, tonight's going to end at <clears throat> probably 11, 10. I'm not staying up to fucking 2, 4 a.m. I would no really way. like to go to breakfast one Saturday morning and have my omelet. That ain't happening either. Dump the truck gave you $3. Here we go. Contestant number one. I believe first impressions last forever, so let's say you were to come over to my parents' house and have dinner with me and my family. Tell me what you would do to make that first impression really stick. I hope that's not a song lyric. It sounds more like you're playing uh, that dating game. So what would you what would I what would I do at your parents' house to make whatever stick? I would tell them that I don't have a penis. I have sex really, really loud in the bedroom. I was like well, I'm dating your daughter, but you have nothing to worry about because my penis was removed at birth. <clears throat> Angela, you and Roger need to have a YouTube channel. You will get more views than Mark. Oh, I'm sure. Dude, a fucking a dead person get more views than me. <laughs> this... Well, technically, yes, because what's Hobo Hillbilly? Who, who, whoa, what? whoa, stop, motherfucker. Don't be talking. <laughs> what are you making jokes about? You, you are, you're going to hell. Isn't he? Get, he's getting views still. He's Yeah, because lost. people are curious. It, wow, that's fucking, you're dirt. I don't sign off on anything she says, folks. So those that are watching right now, I sign off on nothing she Butter says. Squad. I sign off on zero. That just goes to show that, you know, the kind of like evil spirit she is. Whatever. I would never say something like that. Oh, you've said worse. I say it off camera, not on camera. No, you do. It's still on camera. It's just on in Zoom. And you forget that you're live. And then I delete it. And hopefully no one screen recorded it. That's how you do it. You don't say dumb shit when you're live. You wait till you're in Zoom. Well, I think I'm about done. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you going to clean the house, wash dishes, do something? Uh, No, I'm going to do that tomorrow when you go out. Are you going to cook? What are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> what are you going to do? Why do I got to do something? You're going to sit down here and drink. Screw you, bitch. Uh, first of all, take your glass Dump out of here. Dump the gave you $3. You know it Let's it's see. It's obvious. Uh, well... I'd have to think about it. I might show up in a tux. Ha. Huh. But I doubt it. I'd probably just show up naked like I always do and look your mama in the eye and tell All her. Right, that's gotta fuck be you. Like a weird song Hurry that up, be bitch. To. I'm hungry. Thank you, hippie. I don't I don't have no idea. Oh my god, speaking of fucking speaking of redneck hillbilly Pollox, look who is in chat tonight. All the way from the fucking the roughest part of redneck town, Mr. Gary. Folks, if you want to meet a fucking hillbilly, Gary, Gary, he doesn't even own shoes. He walks around barefoot everywhere he goes. He's had sex with every one of his cousins. And uh, he drinks fucking, he drinks, he drinks straight moonshine. Doesn't believe in drinking beer. Just drinks moonshine. That's it. Now, that's a hillbilly right there. I think him and actually uh, Vapen Batcher might have had sex at one point in life. Because they might be related. I wouldn't have sex with my... I wouldn't even have sex with my... I'd rather have sex with one of my relatives than have sex with my mother. Wait, that doesn't sound right, because she's a relative. I got a new beard. This is... uh No, this is... Well, b- new as in right now, but... I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Shut your goddamn mouth. 
before I fucking piss on somebody. Get this goddamn chair out of here. God damn. This fucking bro comes down here, leaves a chair, leaves cups down here, empty cans. It's like a fucking small child. Gotta change a bitch's diaper soon. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, let's finish this beer. Smells like cat piss. Tastes like alcohol. That's all that matters. Do you use overdrive at all? Of course. The, uh, what we got here? Okay, so the classic, uh, man, I'm too drunk to remember all these names. Fuzz, which is, well, I don't know, is a rat fuzz? It kind of is fuzz. One, two, three, four. Technically, there's four overdrive pedals because everyone's got a different flavor. One's more of an overdrive, one's more of a fuzz, one's more of a, uh, more of an overdrive, you know what I'm saying? But just get a quad, get a quad cortex and just get, just, that's all you need. You don't need nothing else. When, when you can clone the sound of your pedal, of a real pedal, you don't even need anything else. I play that thing more than anything. I can't believe Gary's still alive. I thought he'd be fucking... That's shocking. I thought he might have, I don't know, just drank too much or had sex with the wrong girl or something. I'll be a fucking... I'll be a piece of white shit in a, in a toilet. And if you're shitting white logs, then you probably want to see a doctor. I need a cigarette. Well, we don't smoke cigarettes here. We vape. Let's have a vape. If only my lungs could handle a cigarette. You know how enjoyable that would be when you're, when you, uh, when you're drinking. <clears throat> That's the only thing I don't. I don't think vaping quite does. Is I think when you're drinking, vaping doesn't hit that spot like cigarettes used to. That's the one thing I can give cigarettes, is they go great together with alcohol. Vaping, on the other hand, even though it's it still hits the spot, it's kind of like. You know, having sex. Like, uh, I could jerk off, but even though jerk off, jerking off gives you the same, gets you to the same point, having sex is just a little bit more enjoyable. That's kind of like what smoking with drinking is like and vaping it. I can't find my fucking mod. Let's go to beer cam and see if I can find my mod. Oh, it's right in front of me, you fucking cross-eyed bitch. There we go. Merry Christmas. Let's hit the Pure Max with the GT4 together. And let's experiment. If I have a heart attack, call 911. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's a fruity banana sensation. That's actually pretty good. I wouldn't make that a habit. Uh, the new disposable, the newest disposable on the market, folks, for those out there that nobody cares about disposables, but there it is. It looks like, what the fuck is that? I have no idea. But there it is. I, got, I grabbed the gayest color out of the group. because, And of course, there's got to be a little little light show right there. Yay, a little spinny wheel. Dump the truck gave you $3. Here we go with the song. Let me have a seed. Let me clip your dirty wings. Let me take a ride. Cut yourself. Want some help? Please myself. Got some rope. Have been told. Promise you have been true. Let me take a ride. Cut yourself. Want some help? Please myself. I know that song. God damn it, I know that song. I just can't think of it. It's when they... You, you gotta have the rhythm of the lyrics. When it's just the, the lyrics spelled out, it's it's a little tough. Disposable sellout all the way. I'm the only sellout that admits to being a sellout. Disposable are getting banned everywhere. Soon this channel will be, will be banned also. And we'll be on some other fucking... We'll be on the other... That tastes like strawberry and dirty feet. That was Polly? Was it? Did I know that song up and down and front and back? See, it just goes to show when you hear the lyrics read out like that, it just fucks with your head. Like, what the hell was that? Uh, today is actually, I think, anniversary of. Uh, I don't. I don't know why people celebrate this, but the, isn't the anniversary of Kurt Cobain's uh, death? I think, if I'm not mistaken. 
I didn't realize people celebrate that, but it's a celebration. Whoa, whoa. Okay. In Louisiana, I had to go to four blank stores to get a disposable for someone last week. I think I believe the correct terminology, Charlie, that we use here is um actually, you know what? I'm not even going to use the correct terminology because it just sounds racist. I, I <laughs> you guys give me shit for saying shit. What the fuck? Strawberry and dirty feet. You're giving away secrets. Chinese juice making secret. Here we go. Ah, uh, the Chinese. I tell you, they're probably laughing at us right now. Like you know, these motherfuckers make fun of us twenty four seven. But yet these motherfuckers are buying everything we put out. Which is true, because everything in our house is probably made in China. Shout out to the, sh shout out to the Chinese out there tonight. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Uh, Mark can't afford e-bikes, so he's going to review anal plugs. Actually, no. It's not that I can't afford e-bikes. There's not an e-bike out there that will cater to my fat ass. you got to be skinny to for those e-bikes to, you know, actually work. If you're a fat ass and you get on an e-bike, that battery's going to last like five minutes. There's a weight limit on those fucking what things. Do you uh, is that a threat? No, I'm asking. Yeah, not right now, though. Like, how long? I don't know. I'll, I'll ring a bell. Maybe like an hour? Yeah, that'll work. Just Nine? say seven. Sure, that's racist, too. Yes, that works. Evening sober people. Good evening, uh... I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Warhog or Warthog, or one of the two. It's been thirty years now. What's thirty years? What happened thirty years ago? I know nothing that happened thirty years ago. I wasn't even born then. Actually, no, I was born then. I'm in my forties, sadly enough. Warth hog. Now, what the fuck is a? See, what's Warth? Wait, wait, wait. Oh wait. Warthog. So you got warts, is what you're saying? I see warhog, but it's spelled warthog. Do you have warts? We're not. We don't judge people on this channel. If you have warts, hey. You know I got skin tags here and there, but I I, don't, I never had warts before. Is warts kind of like herpes? I'm taking a shit while watching you. I Most of the time I watch YouTube trucking, usually when I'm watching you live is when I'm taking a shit. And usually I sign off when I have to wipe. Everyone here drinks before watching. You, I hope to God so, because if you watch this shit, fucking shit sober, you... I've never had warts on my... Uh, I don't think my penis is big enough to actually have... I don't think it has room for warts. I got a hog. No warts, though. <laughs> I can promise you anyone watching this tonight on a Friday night is not working with much. Because if they were, they would not be here right now. They'd be out. Yeah, we're all a bunch of... Uh, I don't know what we are. With might of both been drunk when I jumped and you're live in Zoom. Were you? Which one? Were you the Australian guy? There's been a lot of people that hop in Zoom that... Here we go. Trucking. Not trucking. Uh, Dump hippie. the truck gave you three dollars. Think of the droop box. Generals gathered in their masses just like witches at black masses. Evil minds that plot destruction. Sorcerer of death's or black construction Sabbath. in the fields. The bodies burning as the war machine keeps turning death and hatred to mankind, poisoning their brain. Wow, wow I didn't know the actual. Uh, it's what Black Sabbath? Yeah, not not Ozzy. Even though Ozzy is Black Sabbath, but kind of the same thing. I like to save money. I'm not for the streets. Well, you give me the gift of having twelve inches. I will be on the streets using that shit. I don't care who I'm using it on. I'm using it. I want someone to remember me the next morning. Like, God damn, that guy I met last night, fucking, I got fucking blood all over the bed. Like, yep, that's me, bitch. Might have been a chicken in a wheelchair, but still. 
It's not really, it's not the, it's not the quality, it's the quantity. They need to show this video to kids and tell them this is what happens if you drink it. Wait a minute, I'm not doing drugs, Neil. I, I have not had any drugs. I mean, you can bring drugs over. I haven't done any drugs. This is all alcohol. This won't scare them straight. Dude, kids nowadays are too stupid. You can't scare them straight. I did not use the pickle jar in my anus. Uh, I learned from the from the video I watched to never, ever stick a pickle jar inside your anus. And if you do, for any reason, make sure there's like pressure inside the jar. Like fill it up with something and put a lid on it and cap that shit. If you're going to shove a jar of pickles in your ass, buy it from the store when it's still sealed, where the little top of the, the lid doesn't poke down. You could shove that probably in your ass. It's not going to pop. But you shoved a hollowed out pickle jar in your ass and it busts. Well, you got no one to blame but yourself. It's just science. Like, if you, the dude obviously failed science class in high school because if, if he didn't, he would know not to have a hollowed jar, a hollowed out jar in his butthole. You want to have it filled with something. Just saying. Thank you. Merry Christmas. The larger the penis, the more issues with erectile dysfunction. I believe that, but I'm not, I really don't care about that. I'd rather walk into a man's shower hanging down to my knees, knowing I can't get a heart on, than walk in and look like a 12-year-old kid where you can barely even notice a penis who has a healthy erection. Merry Christmas, by the way. Ah. Uh, that was that dude. That was pure. That everyone that watched that video once that thing popped and it made like a, it made the sound of like a light bulb popping. It was like a, and then you just seen like, and then the guy had the nerve. Right then and there, I would have jumped up and called nine one one. I would have been, but no, he stood on camera like a fucking trooper, start pulling fucking pieces of glass. Like dude, and there was like blood pouring out like coffee. Like holy fuck, dude, go to the. Go to the fucking ER! What's wrong with you? Or fucking jump out your window or something. Like, this ain't good. You're fucked. You're not gonna get every piece out of you. God damn, what the fuck is wrong? Like, I mean, I, I understand people are into weird shit. Everyone's got their kink, but shoving a fucking pickle jar up your ass? Like, come on. I feel like glass, I mean, at least some, use something less girthy. Use like a, I don't know, a fucking glass Coke bottle. That way you go in small and it gets bigger and bigger. Don't fucking just go straight fat pickle jar. Oh, who fucks their ass with anything that isn't dicks or fingers? Wait. <laughs> Them goddamn freaks. How dare they shove a pickle jar in their ass? They should have used a dick. I'm just saying, I would I, I would have preferred a baseball bat, anything over uh, an empty pickle jar. Hell, give me a full pickle jar. I would have felt more comfortable with that. By the way, is this, is this a vape show? This is a vape show. We do vaping on this channel, and we try to help people get off cigarettes. So if you're smoking a cigarette right now, go out and get yourself one of these and vape it. And if you don't notice the difference in your health, then... Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. What the fuck is wrong with me? I I don't know, Screlly. Are you are you sticking pickle jars in your ass? Because if you're sticking pickle jars in your ass, then you obviously got some kind of medical issues. Mental medical issues. Holy shit, this how the fuck does this goddamn show even exist? Or how does this channel even stay up? I think YouTube is like, you know what? As I always say, they're like, you know what? You got to let the retard. You got to let the retard. Like, you ever go to the grocery store and you're checking out? And I don't mean to say this in a, in a mean way, but you got the one bagger. You know, the one bagger that takes like two hours to bag your groceries. And you can't say anything because, you know, the bagger is one of those. That's kind of how I am. That's kind of how I'm like the bagger. 
and YouTube is like the store. So even though people are like, how the fuck is he saying this shit on YouTube? But like, well, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's a slow bagger. You got to let him be. You can't really, that's how I feel like I get away with half the shit I say. But who knows? How do I not remember Mr. Hands? The biggest dick in the game. Hello. When you could shove a fucking fully erect horse penis inside of a man. That's fucking magic. That is magic. Are you taking Marcus's first tattoo for his birthday? Shit. You gotta be fucking smoking. He's probably eating Tide Pods right now. You went from the vape show to the 3M Walmart show. <laughs> this is kind of a, like a wall. This is turned into like a trashy like Walmart hour. <clears throat> you know what? There, th Billy Lee. I've been looking at this the whole fucking. I want to show you guys this picture. Someone explain this because Billy Lee posted this in the group. On Facebook. And I look at this once a day. And I stare at it. For probably a good 30 minutes. Alright, maybe not 30 minutes. But I look at it. And I'm like, I don't understand. I don't get the fucking... I don't get it if it's, it's, if it's if it's a joke. Maybe I'm just fucking... Okay, look at this. If somebody can explain this to me... Billy Lee, don't explain it. Don't say anything. Because you probably know what it means. Let me find it. I wish somebody would explain this to me because it makes no fucking sense. All right, here we go. So obviously this is a joke. I don't get the joke, though. Here we go. That's not what I meant, June. I don't get this. Can someone explain this joke to me? Because I must be dumb as shit. I, well, obviously I'm dumb as shit, but someone explain that joke. Get a little closer. There we go. Do, 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 do. I mean, the kids look a little, you know. I I don't know. The kids look a little. I don't get the joke though. Did you post that? <clears throat> Isn't that you? Oh no! Wait, that's not you. Sorry. Billy and Pitts. I seen the Billy, and I automatically went. The bald beaver? Is that what it is? Is that the beaver family? Oh, actually, you know what? It might be the beaver family. So, wait a minute. So, I don't get the joke still. So, he shaved his head. I'm, I'm they sh Oh, they shaved the... Oh, okay. Holy mother of Jesus. That's probably why I didn't get the joke, because I didn't realize that was the fucking beaver family from fucking Leave it the Beaver, and he said, oh, shave the beaver, bitch, and instead of shaving her beaver, she shaved the beaver. All right. Now it makes sense. Wow. <clears throat> I rode a shoe... I did ride the sh the, uh the bus I rode wasn't necessarily a short bus. It was a full-length bus. But the kids on the bus... Um, <laughs> speaking of the bus, here's the dump... <laughs> here's Hippie with... <laughs> dump the truck gave you $3. Can you get in trouble for teabagging someone with a nut allergy? Um, I'm going to say negative on that one, probably. If they have a nut allergy, you could probably teabag them and not get in trouble. But the bus I used to ride on was a full-size bus, but the kids on it, you'd have some kids who they would lay their head against the window, and all you would hear is like, like their heads would just bang off the window. And then you have other kids where there was so much fucking drool on the window that when they got off, you could even like see through the window because there was like shit all over it. They were pretty fucked up. They were, yeah, I was, I was probably the only... Like, I was special on the bus, but I think I was more of a mentally, like, psychotic special. Where they were more of, like, maybe a physically special. So, yeah, they licked the window, but he has sex with the girls that licked the window. That was my whole deal. Like, you know, like, and everyone's had sex with a window licker. Don't try to make yourself seem like, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, no. Everyone's done it. 
so get out of town. Maybe not the women, but the men have. I guarantee you. And if they haven't, they just haven't told you about it. Oh, is that one girl? Like, you know, like, eh, well. I'm not going to tell anybody I had sex with her, but she did say yeah. I mean, she is, she's human. She has a working vagina, so why not? <laughs> I remember crawling on the bus seat to tie their shoelaces to the seat pole. Holy Jesus! Hippie, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I, I would never date him. I no, you can't. You can't really date him. But wait a minute, this sounds this sounds offensive as hell. We are not gonna. We're not going down this dark path. I'm gonna be on a fucking shit list in the morning. I like licking something else. Whoa, Glenn, that got. You got weird quick. You got really weird quick. I don't know. Chuck's been posting it. Chuck, post that goddamn link. I gotta finish this beer and we're gonna wrap this up because I gotta take a piss and hop in Zoom and sodomize a few people and talk about things that we can't talk about when we're live because anybody else pull a Napoleon Dynamite on the school bus? Did I watch Napoleon Dynamite like five times? I tried to learn that dance that he did. I don't remember the school bus scene, though. What was the school bus? Uh, the school bus scene. I don't remember it. I did try to learn his dance once. I worked at it, and I could not do the dance. That dance was so awesome he did. I'm, I'm not a rimmer. I don't... Yeah, I'm not a... Never got into rimming. I feel like that's... You're like a human piece of toilet paper if you're rimming someone. He dragged an action figure from his sting out. <laughs> uh, once again, HJ, I wasn't on a short bus. I was on a full-size, long bus. All right? The people on the bus probably should have been on a short bus, but the problem is the school I went to, I think, had too many short bus people so they figured, you know what, we need a few short buses. Why not just get one big bus and put them all on the same bus? And that's what they did. They put all of us on the same bus. And man, when that bus let out, holy fuck, you see some really unique motherfuckers walk out. And then you see me walk out like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, when, when there's too many... When there's too many fucked up kids in a school, they eliminate the short bus and they just get one long bus and they just fill them all up in the long bus. And that's a true story. Harry Beaver. <sighs> Alright, we gotta finish this beer. <clears throat> cheers to, uh... Cheers to the Chinese. Cheers. Whoa. A rifle man would drive them all on a straight in Lake Michigan. You should be bored trucking. Have a beer. You won't be so bored if you drink. Ooh. I think my... I got a piece so bad, I think I might be actually leaking at the moment. Hopefully not. These are good pants. This is pretty boring. When Angela's not here, we can't pick on her. So if there's no one to pick on. So now it's just us. So with that said, we're going to end it now because people are getting bored and the beer's coming to an end and I got to piss. So folks, it's been a fucking blast hanging out with everyone tonight. And uh, if you're not already an alcoholic, you should be because if this show doesn't teach you one thing about anything, it should teach you that you should probably be out drinking because if you want to be like me, <laughs> you need to have a beer in your hand. So good night to everyone. It's been a blast. And uh, Feliz Navidad, Merry Christmas, and all that other good shit. We'll see you soon. Well, I actually won't see you soon, but I'll see the rest of you fucking... Whatever the fuck you people are. The, the ones that are really fucked up. 
Yeah. Good night, everyone. Merry Christmas.